Hi, this is Jamie from BurkeBlogs.com. We're on Harmony of the Seas and we're sailing out of Southampton on the 26th of May 2016. This is actually the second part of our cruise. We've just finished a four night cruise and we're now on the three night cruise um, and we had to change cabins as a result of the back to back as we couldn't get the same cabin. This video is just a short review of the cabin on deck eight at the rear of the ship, um, starboard side, which is a slightly different layout to what we had previously. However, please note um, some of our cases and bags have already been moved from our previous cabin to the new cabin, including items been hung up already and um, by the stateroom attendant. So um, there the will be more in shot than there was in the previous video I did. So I'm just in the entrance to the room um, and as you will see this room has a sofa on the right hand side and the desks on the left and the bed is at the far end um, near the window. If we start in the bathroom which is just to the left hand side of the front door as you are looking at it and we'll have a quick look in there first of all. Um, just an opposite layout to our last cabin so the shower in the right hand corner this time Obviously your toilet, some glasses, a uh, bar of soap and then your shaving socket is at the top. If we move back round, we have the um, mirror and sink and the towels hung up on the left hand side. So if we just move out of the bathroom to the first wardrobe, this is a full length wardrobe with um, plenty of hangers at the top. Um, and as I say, nothing in the bottom, so you have got plenty of storage room for any um, long items you may have. I say apologies for the items being in it, it's just our stateroom attendant did move them over. We have the sofa on the right hand side of the cabin, and then the desk area on the left, where as we'd order the drinks package, our um, Coca-Cola machine cups have been left there, remote control, copy of today's cruise compass, and then also our internet um, voucher details. What I think is a nice touch is there is a packet of red velvet cakes um, on the desk. We didn't receive them on the last cruise, so we assume it's because we are consecutive cruisers, as they're now calling and now rather than back to back. So in the chest of drawers, if we just have a look at what may be inside those, if anything. Top drawer, we have a box of tissues and a hairdryer. Underneath in the cupboard, there is the minibar. which has a selection of items in it. Even if you are on a drinks package though, please note the items in the mini bar are excluded regardless of what drinks package you have. And the price for the items is just on the menu at the top of the desk. There's also four drawers on the right hand side. Um, fairly good sizes. Um, all of which I would expect to be empty um, just like they were in the last room. If we just go back round, we've got the wardrobe at the other side of the sofa. This is only a half size wardrobe, although it does have a safe in it. And then we've got two fairly large drawers at the bottom of here, both of which are identical. So the bed in this room is near the balcony. And then you've got a TV on the wall, which I believe to be a 40 inch TV. Now you can check your account on there, your account balance, any reservations you have. There's also a live Royal Caribbean channel and then one which shows you where your current position is. At the left hand side of the bed is a telephone and a one light. There is no socket at this side of the bed. On the right hand side we have got a light and there is a socket. So there is only a socket on one side um, of the bed. I previously checked for a person who'd commented if there was any plugs underneath but there are no plugs under these beds. So if we just move outside to the balcony, it's going to go a bit bright because it's very bright outside. Um, we have two chairs with footstools, a small table, and actually I would say this balcony is bigger than the last one we had um, in the previous room, so it's pretty good size. And then we've just got a view of Southampton, which is looking quite nice on this uh, sunny morning. So if we just move back in. So that's a tour of the cabin. As I say, it is a slightly different layout to the last, which is why I chose to video it again. If you do have any questions, please feel free to comment on the video on YouTube um, or alternatively on my blog, blog at burkeblogs.com. Okay, thanks very much for watching.